Hi, my name is Joel Art. I'm with Miller Electric Manufacturing Company. Today we're going to teach you how to successfully weld in the flat, horizontal, vertical, and overhead positions in the MIG process. It's a good idea before you start your project to take some scrap metal similar to the project you're working on and practice on that so you can achieve a proper weld when you're done. And also, before you start your project, make sure that you have some good safety gear, like a nice jacket, a pair of glasses, a good welding helmet, and a nice pair of welding gloves. Wires stick out for MIG welding should be around a quarter to three eighths of an inch from the contact tip, possibly a little bit longer for tight joint access. Generally, the 2575 mix of CO2 and argon gives you the best overall performance and nice looking bead for MIG welding. For any welding, you'd want as clean a metal as you can, clean the joint as good as you can. Make sure that you have a good ground clamp connection, that you clean that area. And if your material is a quarter inch or thicker, you're going to want to bevel your joint for your weld to get good penetration. In considering gun travel for MIG welding, the push technique is the most recommended and also gives you a good view of the weld puddle. For a typical butt weld or a flat position weld, your gun should be at 90 degrees to your workpiece and 10 degrees tilted back, welding with a slight weave pausing side to side to avoid undercut. For a typical T-joint, you're going to want the gun at 45 degrees or an equal distance from each piece. And on thicker pieces, you may want to weave the gun, pausing on each side to avoid undercut. For a lap joint, you're going to want your gun at 60 to 70 degrees, directing most of the heat toward the bottom of the workpiece. Make one straight weld. For the typical horizontal weld position, the first thing you'll want to do is turn your welding parameters on your machine down about 10 to 15 percent. You also want to angle your gun upwards toward the, towards the weld puddle at around 10 degrees to accommodate for gravity. For the vertical welding position, again you'll want to turn your machine parameters down by 10 to 15 percent. and You'll want to angle your gun at 5 to 15 degrees up at the, at the weld puddle. You're going to want to weave from side to side, pausing on the edges to avoid undercut. And also with vertical welding, you can weld vertical up or vertical down. Vertical down will give you less penetration and is much better for thinner metals. Vertical up will give you more penetration for anything a quarter inch or above in thickness. The overhead welding position is the most difficult to do. Try to avoid it if you can, but if you need to, again you'll need to reduce your per welding parameters a minimum of 10 to 15 percent. Try to maintain fast travel speeds and then you can avoid having the weld pool fall from the joint and onto you. Achieving a good quality sound MIG weld is not as easy as it looks. But with a little patience and a lot of practice, in no time you'll be tackling any job that comes your way in your shop.